Hey Scapers, another video for you, continuing our journey into skimmers. So the previous video was about skimmers on lily pipe work. Today we're going to talk about mechanical skimmers. So these are the ones that sit inside your tank on the edges uh, and help with circulation. So let's talk first. So we've got two options. We've got the ADA Vupa 2 and we've got the EIM skimmer. So we'll talk about the EIM first. Um, so, how does it work? So, that's your little skimmer there, so that sits on top of your surface, this sticks to the edge of your tank like so, and that goes up and down with your water, you know, your water surface, so if it's a case of, if you've got loads and loads of movement, this will bob up and down with that movement. Um, so, yeah, how do you clean it? So that there comes off so you can give it a right good clean uh, that's where the water trickles down the center of there into the main body of your pump so let's move the vapor out of the way for a sec right so how to get into it so you can literally pinch the bottom and that wriggles off there we go so that part comes off there that's this is your motor so it's an upside down motor so normally your power heads and stuff like that sit that way this it's upside down so what it does is it pulls the water in and then jets it back out so to clean them get some good tongs let's have a look right okay so be very gentle when you pull this out so there's your little impeller so what happens with these is that they get gunked up over time so same with any motor you know if you've got uh, external filters, internal filters, anything that's got an impeller over time after about you know six months to a year it'll start building up with like a bit of grime around it so give them a good clean with all your equipment you know if you want to keep on top of it make it last longer give it a right good clean so that there all free spinning brilliant so that now that's all cleaned we'll come on to the foam inside so to get into that you've got two sections here you pull that there you go that comes off your plastic there there's your little foam so that stays in there that's a nice little tiny foam so if you've got if this is like on a main tank and you've already got a filter you can clean that under the tank uh, under your tap water sorry so because this isn't doing anything for your filtration or your biological so you can clean that in tap water if you've got a shrimp tank because i know a lot of shrimp guys are using these at the moment just because little nice you know you, you don't need masses of filtration for a little shrimp tank so you can get away with something like this so if you are make sure you clean them in your water you've just taken out because you want to keep as much biological on that as possible so yeah so putting it back together as you saw i just clipped it back on there you clip it back onto your main body uh, of your pump sorry with these you can turn it up and down so you've got like a little gauge there so you can go up down you know depending on what speed you want you can slow it down turn it up it's not a dc pump so you can't physically turn the motor down but you can control the amount of there's like a gate valve in here so you can turn that up and down to whatever you desire and then you stick your top back on there and there you go ready to rock and roll if you do have shrimps there's a little hack for these uh, I'm not going to do a video on it because loads of people have but the best video I've seen up to now is an aquascaper called Yuri's online so if you if you search for him uh, he's also the promoter for um, Tropica he does all the Facebook page and all that sort of thing as well so have a look at his stuff he's a brilliant aquascaper uh, and he's got some top tips he does one every week so definitely have a look at that because they're so handy so yeah it's a little hack for this part here uh, so go check his videos out so that's it for the EIM let's have a look at the Vupa so the Vupa is ADA's version so ADA's made a steel one uh, the reason why they've made it steel is because over time plastics they, they do go brittle on you over time and when they build something they build it to last so it's a case of it's all made out of a nice uh, steel to get to get to your pad you need a good set of tweezers pull that out so there's your foam it's a lot bigger than the EIM so let's just pull that EIM one out so you can see the difference there you go right so there's your difference in foam so you're getting quite a lot more foam uh, so any like shrimps uh, snails or anything like that you know for a fact that they're not going to turn into mincemeat 
<laughs> so yeah, so that's there. Um, so to get into the booper, you pull off this little steel part at the front. So that there is your little directional flow for your for your uh, tank. If you change the angle of it, you can change the flow wherever you want it to go. If you want it to go left, right, straight forward, down, up, um, you can do. So you pull that part off there, and then this all slides out. So there's your little pump. So there's your little pump inside this steel housing here. So it keeps it all nice and snug. Uh, so to get into that, you lift up, you pull it off its suction cups there. There we go. That pulls off the bottom. There we go. Got a little grid on there, a little protection grid uh, to stop any little tiny bits of muck getting caught up in there. Because uh, it's only a little tiny mortar this. So take it out like that. Again, give it a right nice clean. Pop it back in. Uh, the both steel um centers so um the shaft sorry are made of steel uh so you ain't got a problem with because years and years ago they used to make them out of ceramic a lot of companies i think some companies still do uh what happens is a ceramic sometimes it can break on you by accident so with these being made out of metal they last a lot longer uh and that's on both that's on the em and the vupa so that's everything back to normal then so you give that a right good clean you're going to put it back together now so you make sure your vupers pushed all the way down to the bottom pushed against the back there we go and you tuck them cables underneath there the reason why you took the cables in and ada putting their little stamp on it uh they don't do stuff by half so what they've done is they put a float switch on it so the good thing about the float switch, if you're away on holiday, I know no one's going on holiday anytime soon, but if you're away, or let's say you're working away, you know, you might have a busy lifestyle, you know, uh, and you can't keep an eye on your tank all the time, with your water level, especially open top tanks, they lose water through evaporation, so it drops your water level. So with the Vupa and the EIM being in a static position, it's a case of, with the Vupa, if your water level drops, what happens is, is with this float switch, so once it's up, it means full of water, it's fine. If it drops, it knows that your tank's, you know, because it's open top, it's dropped in water through evaporation. So instead of burning out your pump with the ADA one, it cuts it out for you. So you're saving your pump, so you don't have to go out and buy another pump or anything like that over time. So that is, you know, as far as skimmers go, that's taking it to a whole new level. Uh, so that there, you pop that back in there, so that'll slide straight back in there. That float switch, you know, it blew my mind as soon as I saw that, I thought that is the neatest little thing I've ever seen. Uh, so yeah, you push that little steel part back in there, that just locks it all into place, so this ain't going to go anywhere. Uh, and then you put your put your phone back in there, and you just push it, push it down. Uh, keep going and what you can do is if you push it too far down just use your tweezers and just you know maneuver it up and down so you know it's nice and filling it all out and there you go and that's how it looks when it's finished so if, if people are thinking oh god my snails and oh my fish what if my fish jumps in there there's a little hack uh, especially with shrimps because shrimps are notorious for getting inside these same with snails um, so the hack with this one check out Yuri's video uh, brilliant video you can't you know can't really beat it to be honest um so go have a look at that that's really good but with a vopa easiest way to do it with a vopa is rather take that foam out that you've just got and put a bigger foam in so it comes up to the top so then they can climb in and out whenever they need to um but to be fair is what a lot of people do is just a little bit of foam over the top there and that'll just stop anything from getting in you can you know if a fish jumps on there it can get back out it you know it'll flop back into the tank if a shrimp gets in there it can climb out climb back in same with snails um so yeah nice little bit of foam on top of there and bob your own couple so price point between them so obviously ada is a lot more money but build quality i would say second to none um you know you can't really beat steel and a float switch like you can't go wrong you can't go wrong the eim though on the other hand is that it does have suction cups and if you're in a hard water area suction cups I hate suction cups underwater because over time they go rock hard and you can never get them back soft um so as far as they go but Bearing in mind is that 
the ADA is is a bigger price point. So it's a case of depends on where you're at. If you think you know what, I want to give it a whirl, see what it's all about. EIM all the way because value for money they're brilliant. Um, but if you want in you know high end you're in it for the long haul you're in a proper aquascaper and you think you know what i'm in this you know i'm i'm in it for the long haul i want in something good reliable ada all the way not going to break steel you you know the float switch in there cuts your pump out so you're not having problems with like breaking pumps or buying replacement pumps uh you've got an adjuster on the back so you can take it onto any size tank you want which one do you prefer guys comment below ada or ei let us know.